and welcome back to my channel sorry about my makeup it's really blotchy i've been out all day um out and about um and it's hideous i know my lipstick has basically come off my spots are unfolding but um yeah i'm back home and i've decided oh that is so bad i decided this morning actually yesterday that i wanted to put the tree up before i went out earlier on i made craig go in the attic and get everything down but sorry i'm whispering just because i've just put charlie down i really don't want to wake up so i can watch it watch i'm a celeb um because that starts tonight and i'm so excited i've got really got to stop playing with my spots um what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the christmas stuff in here from charlie's room i'm going to show you what i've got and then i'm going to put in a time lapse of me putting it up and then i'll do like a little montage at the end um and then tomorrow morning when it's light i'll kind of like show you um it all like set up just because i think some bits will look better if i show you when it's lighter some bits will show you better when it's dark so i'm obviously going to show you like the lighter stuff and then i'll show you like outside tomorrow um so yes i'm gonna go grab the bits and i will be back with you okay guys so i'm gonna turn my bedroom light on i don't think it's the best lighting but we should be able to get away with it so i'm gonna show you what i've got i'm gonna turn my camera around i've got like this new like thing so i can hold the camera without shaking now it's so much easier and it doesn't go all muffly i always found like if I was, sorry, I'm turning around because I feel really rude. I always find like if I was holding, and I can like hold it out here and like, and it goes right up. Um, it's just so much better. And it was literally like four pound off eBay. But it's basically like a selfie stick, but for your camera. And I just find it so much handier, like than holding it. And then the camera goes muffly and goes off and on. And yeah, so let's get to it. So this is the first thing that we got. This was from B&M and it was only 15 pound, which is really, really good because it's so nice. So it's the luxury tree skirt and it's in like a brown, just a brown wicker colour I'd say. It doesn't actually say the colour of it. I would just say it was just brown basically. Um, and because our living room is like beige and things like that. So I just like that colour. So we went for that. Um, and then also sticking with B&M, we got this one because it was £5 and I love it. Um, it says... Merry Christmas and I thought it'd look quite nice either in the window or on like a shelf um so we've got that one we also picked up this one from B&M which is a light up um it's the most wonderful time of the year start and I actually love that I think that could look really really nice like in the center of the window um I literally love it um and this one was six pounds which I think is really really good for a decoration um i also picked up this so we kind of have like i've got some more stuff to show you downstairs but we kind of have like a bauble obsession when we first had charlie and we took him to the zoo we got him a bauble because we thought um well i guess yeah it's a bauble what do you call it a bauble no a snow globe sorry we got him a snow globe because we didn't really know what to get him he was obviously quite young but this obviously got the mum the dad and the baby and i loved it and i think this was this was five pound but it's so pretty i think it's like white and silver at the bottom and it's just so nice and i just thought we'd keep it in charlie's room after he's actually got a zoo one and he's also got a christmas train one downstairs so i picked that up um we also got this actually i have it's not downstairs so we also got this so this is for my living room table so my theme this year it's like rose gold gold and like white so last year it was rose gold and white but i'm also adding a little bit of gold to it just to go with the neutral sort of vibe and i bought this to go in the center of the coffee table and i actually love it i just think that's so pretty and for four pounds you cannot go wrong not at all so that was four pounds and then i also picked up a wreath for the front door so a lot of them are really really pricey 
This is the reef. I'm going to get it out. It's really glittery. I found like I've got a lot of glitter everywhere, so God help me. But how pretty is that reef? And that was literally seven pounds. Like, how nice is that? And I've got like a command strip thing you hang it to the door with. So um, I'm really looking forward to putting him up. Um, I, put, I will put it up tonight, but at some point. Okay, and then going over to these bits. So this was actually given to us by um, Charlie's godmom and auntie, Sam. So this is his first Christmas stocking. Um, we weren't going to do Christmas stockings this year. Um, and then we decided actually we were just going to do one for Charlie with like little bits in. Um, like just snacks and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so that's his first little Christmas. And I just thought it was so cute. And it's like beige that so will go in the living room really well. Um, and then I also picked up these lights here. So these are from Poundland and the eight battery operated little icicle lights, warm white. And I've got two shelves in the living room. So I thought these would look perfect on the shelves, even if I could try and get them to like drape down. Thought they would look really, really cool. Um, this is also a gift from my sister, um, baby's first Christmas. So Charlie's auntie Ellie got her him that. And it's just so, so sweet. Do you know what? It's the only thing, I think, we did have blue bauble on our Christmas tree last year, like, of him in, like, a little scan. So, I really love that. And then, from our local garden centre, I picked up this train snow globe that I was on about. And it's honestly so, so cute. If Guys, let me just say, I really want to apologise to saying cute so many times in this video. Enjoy. Yeah, no. Let me put them down a second. Can you guys see that? I just loved it. I just love it. I think it's so nice. Um, and that was, do you know, it was actually five pounds. And I thought, whoa, that's a bit steep. But um, it's his first Christmas, so what the hell. And then I've been obsessed with foxes since I was pregnant. So before I even had Charlie, foxes were like this thing. And then we found this ball at the garden centre. Um, and I absolutely loved it. I don't really don't know why it's not focusing in that area. It's annoying me. Um, so I found this fox and I absolutely loved it. It was £10, but it's going to last us forever. It's a ceramic one. Um, and it's actually by um, Floral Silk. I've never heard of it, but um, yeah, I loved it. And I thought that would look really, really nice on the tree. Obviously, we're going for the goldy colour, but... Who cares? It could even just go in his room after. Um, I picked this up from Poundland, everybody. Poundland had this. It's amazing. And if you didn't know, which I didn't know, which you guys will know from my video um, last week. When I say last week, this is the thing. I recorded a video last week of the last lockdown um, of me going to places like Poundland, Primark and like a few other places and guess what? Poundland didn't even shut. But I still have edited the video, I just haven't popped it up yet. Um I'm just I just keep going over my mind like if I think it's actually good enough for my channel. Obviously my channel's not big, but I want my channel to have good content for you guys. Um so I am gonna put it up before this video, um, but only one day. So because I don't feel like it's worthy of like you know, I do two videos a week. I try. Um, so I'm going to pop this up on Monday and then pop one up on Wednesday. So this will be going up on Wednesday. And that video will be going up on um, Monday. So I do try and upload on Wednesday and Sunday. But last week I didn't get around to doing it, which is annoying. It really annoys the hell out of me. But I, there's nothing that can be done about it other than catch up. So that's what I will be doing. So, yeah. The, the next thing we got from B&M, I love this. Do you know what? This is my garland. Look how pretty that is. So it's a pre-lit garland, 120 frosted tips, um, and it's, it was £20. Um, I just think it's stunning. Like, I needed to get frosted because our tree is, like, frosted, but it's not too frosted, and it's got glitter in it as well. I literally love it. So I don't know whether this is going to go in my window or on my TV unit yet. Um, this is from my nan. So it's a canvas but inside like the house and stuff and the tree, it lights up. She got it for me last year for Christmas and I actually bought her one the year before and it's kind of like a nice thing that she got it for me 
when I got her one and I just love it and it's like a picture that goes on the wall so I'm going to pop that up somewhere um, in the living room or around the house I just think it's such a lovely present and it's so sentimental to me that she got me that after me getting her one um, this is our tree here um, you're not going to see it so it's the six foot snowy pine tree with 600 tree tips so it's it looks like this i'm not going to get it out because you're going to see it anyway but it is good and it was from asda i think it was 35 pound that was last year so you know you cannot go wrong i've got a few bits in here that you guys will see these are old things that was kind of what i bought new um he is new this little penguin charlie loved it and craig was like, i'm getting at him was that okay look at him yeah i know so it's like blowing snow it's got the snow it's got a cute little hat on and it was 12 pounds and you can't go wrong they had other ones so i think we can go back and get some more and then look at this guy how cute is he so he's 60 centimeters so that's two rulers long guys so he's quite big look how much detail has gone into it like he's got a little present in his bag little tree and i'm gonna put him next to the tree i just think it here looks so cool so so cool and cute i say cute all the time everyone's gonna know these are like a few things i've got like white doves and reindeers and literally all sorts so if i this is like the rose goldy color and then the other ones are all white like this so you guys will see i've got a few of these that i had from last year they're silver but it doesn't matter um they can probably go like on the kitchen table or something like that i just love it so i'm gonna crack on and i am going to oh and i've also got these guys so this is like a little robin that's my old pandora i'm gonna sell i haven't worn that in literally years um but i've also got so many of these scented little yankees so this is the winter wonderland one um icy blue spruce frosted gingerbread cinnamon spot stick and glitter and star so i have all of them from a big pack that craig got me last year for christmas and i still haven't used them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead i'm going to go downstairs i'm going to put the tree up i'm going to get on with it but i'm going to put you on a time lapse and kind of like just show you a little bit of me doing it um i'm probably not going to show you the whole thing because i'm going to be having a little bit of a cider and i'm going to be watching i'm a celeb so yeah so i will let you guys know when it's all up and i will do a little montage for you
So guys, I popped him on the table. Look how nice that looks. I popped it in this dish because it's glittery and it would go absolutely everywhere. It looks a little bit off. That's it. So I just popped it in that dish which I usually have my wax melt in. And um, I just popped it in there and I thought that was really, really, really cute. Why do I always say fucking cute? <sighs> God. Right, so this is the tree. I've obviously wanted to show you in the daylight so you could see. I feel like it's a little bit gappy, so what I've done is I've ordered some feather boas to come. Um, just to kind of put a little bit like, just literally one to like, literally at that. The top bit I find is okay, but towards the bottom is a little bit, do you see what I mean? It's a bit gappy. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's what I want to do. And also, I don't have anything for the top of the tree. I think I had something last year and I threw it out. Don't ask me why, but I did. So, I don't know where that is. Um, I've put this here. It says, have yourself a Merry Christmas. And that was from B&M last year, or the year before, actually. Um, I put that behind the tree just because I thought that looked quite nice. I don't think you guys have even seen my curtains. Um, so, I had these... Oh god, when did I get these put up? Saturday. Um, I wanted them put up for the tree because obviously it's there. We don't actually shut them, we just shut the blind. But I just wanted them there because I feel like it was so bare and plain. Um, I do want to get like a, a hook to pin these, like this middle bit here together so that they kind of drape a bit more. But I'll get that sorted soon. Um, but yeah, so I put the pre-lit garland in the window because I did want to originally put it over here. But because our TV is so low to the cabinet, it looked really silly and you couldn't really see much of the TV. And it was really annoying me. So, yeah, so I popped that garland along there. And then this is like, it's a just the most wonderful time of the year. It's a little light. It lights up. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It lights up. Um, and it just looks really, really nice in the middle. Did try to put it behind, but then again, we've got the blind. Um, so I didn't want it to get caught and it actually looks really nice at night in front um, Then I've got Charlie's little um, Garden centre train there. It's really really cute can stop saying cute um, This was from B&M a couple years ago as well And it just says Merry Christmas and it lights up so that goes behind the blind I've just literally popped it on one of the, that um, And it's all right to put like there um yeah, so we've got a few really cute baubles. This one was made for me. Um, when feathers appear when angels are near. And it's like, about, like my, my nan who's passed away. And I really like it. And um, some of Craig's uh, nan and granddad has also passed away. So it's really nice. Um, and then I've got my Mickey Mouse around there. Minnie's around the other side. What's the matter? Do you want to say hello to YouTube? You say I've just had a bath. Yeah, he's getting really tired, so hopefully he's going to play ball while I try and finish showing you around. What well, my sister got, um, and then I've got these really cute, these are my favourite, the butterflies, like just all different all over. I love these ones, and this one used to be my dad's, and he moved house and I stole it basically, so I <laughs> took that with me. Um, and then obviously I popped him there, because I think... He looks really, really good there with the tree, and he's like kind of matching the colours. Um, the penguin, Charlie's favourite thing ever, is just there. Um, and then the snow globe, I've just popped there. And then I've also popped like an, a spiced orange one that I had from um, Autumn out. And then these two little things down here light up, um, so they light up at night. And then up on the shelves, I just popped. The Merry Christmas and behind it you can see these twigs, but it's just a um, winter spice. Um, I don't even know what they're called. I don't know. What the, a winter spice thing that would stick to that smell. Um, a little stag um, and then a candy cane candle. And then over this side, we've got my light up picture, which I'll show you. Can you see that? It's, a bit, it's so cute. So it's that and then like the house lights up um and then and stag and then i've got two up here so that is is that the spiced yeah warm apple and cinnamon and then that one's christmas cookie um and then basically i'm just going to show you this but this is my tablecloth i've got washing at the minute but this is my tablecloth that i popped on and then this that was in the window in the front which i've literally just moved there so guys, this guy's i just want to show you 
my reef in action and the Merry Christmas I three to put that at the back. Oh my camera's nearly fell off. Um so I've got my Merry Christmas little mat, that and then in my bedroom I put some little icicle lights. And I just think it looks so Christmassy from the outside. I did want to get some icicle lights here, but I haven't done it. Um yeah so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and a like and i will see you guys tomorrow